I'm 69 and I'm dating. The one thing that 19 year olds and 69 year olds have in common, that the men we're dating are still assholes. <laughs> So you're over here beating yourself up because you overlooked red flags. So let me tell you exactly why you overlooked those red flags. Because you show up with wife energy and not girlfriend energy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Why? Because you're a queen. No. Okay. No, 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 no. You are not to be trifled with. And a man who is serious about you and who loves you is not going to play around with you. Sixty nine and still dating, eh? Now some things change, but they always stay the same, nonetheless. But welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Women Dating Over 30. And in this episode, some beautiful ladies will try to explain to us and give us insight uh, about why this phenomenon happens. They have figured it out. Now, you would only think that if they have figured it out, then why are they themselves single at 30? I don't know, guys. Let's try and find out, all right? Let's get started. The one thing a man in love with you will never do is trifle with you. See, you're over here beating yourself up because you overlooked red flags. So let me tell you exactly why you overlooked those red flags. Because you show up with wife energy and not girlfriend energy. Why? Because you're a queen. You are not to be trifled with. And a man who is serious about you and who loves you is not going to play around with you. When you are married to a man and you are committed for the rest of your life, when you see bumps in the road, you're like, okay, we can build around this. We can work with this. We will work together. We will solve this problem. But the problem is whenever a man is trifling with you and he doesn't really love you and he is not showing up as your king, what is going to happen is you are going to see those red flags. You are going to treat them like a wife instead of like an inspector that you should be as a girlfriend friend like hmm maybe I should just like weed this person out instead of building around those things and building a home with a man you should be ruling out that is what is happening so a man who loves you would never trifle with you when he sees that you are showing up in your wife energy because you are a high quality woman if he cares about you there's nothing I love, no, nothing says high quality woman more than some children in the background of a single mother uh, posting cringe on TikTok, right? And absolutely beautiful. And I love how instead of saying I made this big error of going for the guy who has more red flags than a communist parade, she puts it in this light of, ah, uh, look at my charming imperfection. Uh, I went for this guy who didn't deserve me, but still, I am just such a big wife, you know, big wife energy over here, doing the best I can. I am just, you know, so charmingly imperfect. No, you are not. You're going for the top guys. You're going for the men who are way out of your league, have so many red flags. Uh, you dismiss all the good men that will, will actually provide you with this life you're supposedly looking for. And you go for the ones who are way out of your league. And then you say, ah, I I'm just such a great wife, you know. No. You're not a home builder, you're not a great wife. What you're doing is the equivalent of a guy going for a super module who is a 10 out of 10 and saying, ah, the things I do for love, right? I'm just so selfless, guys. Big husband energy. What, what are you talking about, man? You're going for the guy. Don't make this uh, like it's not about yourself, right? This is about yourself. This is not wife energy. This is being selfish. You're going for the guys who you just uh, feel attracted to and you're willing to dismiss all the red flags because of that. And at the same time, you're dismissing all the good guys because you think they're not up to your level and you want to portray yourself in this wife energy. We're not buying it. We have this woman over here uh, acting in all her big wife energy saying how, oh, if there are bumps in the road, we're going to work through them. If you're going through a bad period, let me help you. I'm such a great wife. We're going to solve everything. We, we're trying to build over here. 
uh, well, how do you explain that women initiate 70% of the divorces, right? How do you explain that? It's because Char gets this treatment. The guys who are extremely attractive, they get this treatment of, I'm going to dismiss a hundred red flags. I'm going to stay committed for five years in a situation ship, even though you're giving me nothing in return. I'm going to do all those things and try to build up when there's nothing to be built. This guy doesn't care at all. Uh, but for the men who are actually interested, guys, you get none of that. She's not going to stay around. The moment you feel bad, the moment you start to sleep in any you know, aspect of your life, she's going to leave you. She's going to punish you for it. She's going to act like a judge in your life, like an inspector, as she says. This is the treatment that good guys get because, uh, well, they don't have it to be that attractive or uh, they're just not the top percentage of guys. They, you don't make that, enough, uh, that amount of money. You don't deserve good treatment, right? At all, in any kind of love, even as just a decent human being man, he doesn't even have to be in love with you to care about you enough to see that you are not a woman to be trifled with. You are a high quality woman who is ready to be a wife and you are showing up in your queen wife energy. You are not playing around. A high quality man would never trifle with a woman like that. And whenever you see those red flags and you're like, okay, we can work with this. He is not going to play around with a woman like that. And you have got to make sure that you are not staying in your wife energy with a man who is traveling. I mean, this woman says that we're not playing around, but that is literally what they do. Like one on one, that is the only thing they do. They go for the men who play around and they dismiss the ones who want to have something serious. And last time I checked, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. But high quality women and queens and all that bullcrap, uh, they don't go for the guys who play around with them, right? High quality women, uh, not known for going for the guys who have massive red flags and are obviously uh, bad options, right? Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not up to this woman's intellectual level. So let's move on to our second one, guys. And she's also going to explain to us why she's single over 30. Where is your amazing man? Where is he? I'm Lisa, the love coach. Let's get into where this man is and why you are struggling to call him into your life to attract this amazing man into your life. Okay, here are some reasons why you could be tripped up on attracting the one. Number one, you don't believe that this beautiful man even exists. You talk about how there aren't any good ones anywhere. You don't know where to go to meet them. Everywhere you go, it's Loserville Central. So this negativity cannot garner a positive result. So this is why your own mindset is blocking you from calling in your great guy. No ah, got you. So the first advice basically is you're not delusional enough, right? If for some reason you're a woman who has a few brain cells uh, that bring you back to reality and tell you, hey, maybe you don't deserve that top two percentage of men, right? Uh, it, that's your first mistake, all right? You got to believe it. You got to think that you indeed do deserve that top men, blue eyed, dark skin, six feet tall, six digit salary, right? You got to picture him in your mind before you attract him. All right, let's move on. Number two, you don't have a life. You don't have anything other than work and come home and exhaustion. And maybe if you have an animal, you're tending to your animal and you're just feeling so tired and run down that you don't even want to muster up the energy to go out where people are. See uh, let's play a fun little game, guys. Just try and guess what kind of animal do these single women over 30 have. He's not going to meet your man in your kitchen. He is not going to come to you via Amazon.com can't order that online, unfortunately. So you actually have to create a fun-filled life, a fulfilling life, a life where you feel that you are operating at your best. You're fun, you're happy, you have good friends, you have things to do every weekend, you're out and about. That is how you're going to attract that awesome man because that awesome man isn't hiding. He's out in the scene, he's out and about. So go and have fun. And that is going to be the energy level that you're going to get to so that you can call in this amazing guy. We all know, just to be clear, what go out and have fun means, right? I don't need to clarify it. 
we're not talking about uh, focus on your studies, you know, try to improve at work, uh, try to make connections with people and friends and, uh, you know, just focus on your hobbies. We're not talking about that. What most women will do in this quote unquote having fun process is riding the carousel, increasing their body count, going for the triple digit body counts, right? Uh, I don't think that's what is going to attract your perfect men. But hey, I'm not a love coach, so don't take it from me. And the last reason why you are probably tripped up over attracting this new guy is because you do not trust yourself because of a past relationship. You still have the ghosts of relationship past playing in your head. And so those thoughts muddy your ability to attract what's new. So I can help you with all three. Click on that linky. Go to lovequestcoaching.com. Get your free love life. No, I don't think I will. But hey, guys, if you're interested, you can go there. But basically, let me sum it up for you, right? First thing, you're not delusional enough. Second thing, your, high, your body count is not as high as it needs to. And the third, third thing is you haven't coped enough, right? If you have that previous relationship of trauma because you went for the bad boy or the good ones, uh, just you haven't forgot about it. You, you still have some sort of accountability left and that is preventing you from meeting the other man. So what you have to do if you're a woman and you want to find that Chad is first off, be delusional and think that you deserve uh, the, the best man on planet Earth. Second thing, be sure that you have a high body count before you meet him. And third thing is, don't be accountable for any mistake that you've done in the past. We have the perfect recipe here, uh, the beautiful formula for finding love. Uh, I hope this helps you in your life, gentlemen. Let's move on to a third woman. And the same thing happens over here. The reason that you haven't found love yet if you're a single woman who's over 30 isn't because you're not on the right app and it's not because you're not putting yourself out there enough. It's because you haven't done the deeper work to clear your subconscious mind of all of the programming from your childhood, all of the fear, all of your past relationship baggage that are causing you to attract the wrong men and you haven't done the work to create a life that you truly love in a way where you're completely unattached from the outcome of finding love because doing the I'm going to pause it real quick just to mention you've probably missed it and I miss it so often but uh, the, the, these women always talk in a passive tone you attract those men instead of I choose these men all right there's a clear difference uh, but we've gotten so used to hearing all these word salads of uh, attracting and uh, the, these these passive tones of things just happen in my life and I have no accountability for it, right? It's my childhood, it's the culture we live in, uh, it's the universe, it's my zodiac sign, it's everything but themselves, right? They don't choose the wrong guys, they just happen to attract them. And apparently they have no free will to deny them. It's just, you can't blame these women, all right? Doing those two things, clearing your subconscious blocks and creating a life you love, that makes you completely magnetic to people, but most of all, magnetic to really great men. So if you're a single woman, you're over 30 and you really want to find love, you want to find a great guy who treats you well and you want to get married, start a family, then you need to actually start to understand what's going on in your subconscious mind clear out all the past programming and do the work to create a life you love so that you're completely the tiktok ends right here with them being completely magnetic now at least this woman have has some hint at maybe some accountability or some work to do uh, other than just picturing the perfect man in her mind uh, but hey it still doesn't cut it for me what if you're not going to be completely magnetic by doing the work Right. If, if, if doing the work means you somehow get a time machine and go 10 years back, in that case, yes. Uh, but if you're a woman over 30 who's been single, that just telegraphs in most of the cases you've been fooling around, wasting your opportunities, having unreal expectations, and men are not attracted to that. So what if you're not completely magnetic? Why do we always have uh, these picture in our minds uh, that we are just, you know, absolutely fantastic and we deserve, by the mere fact that we exist, a perfect man. Uh, you know, in, sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it too. Uh, and if you're 30 and you've been spending your time on whatever nonsense, uh, which probably, you know, talks about clubs and high body counts, uh, maybe you don't get to eat your cake and find that man and be magnetic, all right? But now, guys, let's move on to our last woman. 
Uh, this there is no commentary here. There is just some text. So let's read it uh, and let's think about this for a second. If you start talking to this girl every single day and every single night, just know she's probably going to get attached, even if she had no plans to. So before the two of you get close, and before she opens up her heart, make sure that you're suddenly not just going to leave. Damn, guys, I should really start wearing a suit or something uh, for the occasion because we have all these videos with the piano music, right? Uh, the high quality music, and I'm just here dressed like a peasant. So, hey, maybe I should uh, start wearing a suit, you know, all black, uh, so I can be appropriate for the moment. Guys, did you, re did you capture the message? If you talk to this woman, uh, e even if she hadn't planned it, she's going to fall for you. And, and please don't leave, all right? Now, I didn't know it was that easy. This woman's TikTok just ruins my whole channel, my whole narrative. And the people watching this as well, I mean, guys, I see you all complaining in the comments about uh, the dating scene is so hard, women dismisses all the time. Guys, have you thought about texting them, right? Oh, he done. I hadn't thought about that. I didn't know that everything you had to do is just text them. Uh, and they're going to, you know, inexplicably fall in love with you and never leave and catch feelings. And all we have to do from there is just not leave. Wow, guys, I didn't know it was that easy, honestly. And, and here I am yapping, right? Every day yapping about some, oh, it's so hard. When all you have to do is text them. Holy crap. Well, it's either that, right? It's either that you, you just have to text them and they fall in love with you. Or... It's that this woman's TikTok is not true, <laughs> all right? And that we have men over here texting these women. Uh, the, this woman herself has 50 guys piled up on her DMs uh, on every social media platform, and she's just not paying attention to them, right? I mean, this woman, for her age especially, is a 10 out of 10, good looking. And you're telling me that all I have to do is text you, uh, and you're going to be absolutely loyal, absolutely committed, uh, you know, trying to build up for the future, wife energy and all that. Telling me that, well, I don't believe it, you know, based on the common knowledge that women nowadays are not paying the, the you know, the attention, that they're not spending the time of day to entertain guys who are not the top percentage. So what I think happened here is this woman is talking about the top percentage of guys and for them, they just need to text her and she's going to, you know, go absolutely uh, mad right for them uh, but for the for the for most guys this just doesn't apply because we have them over here writing the long poems sending in roses you know uh trying to look for a wife uh, and they're getting nothing in return right so one of those two options guys leave me your comments down below am i the am i in the wrong guys um, hey maybe all we have to do this time is text these women right and we're out here not doing it so you let me know guys but thank you for watching I'll leave you off here. I'll be happy to see your comments down below and to see you next time, guys. Have a good one.